so much for joining me today. So as you can see from the title, I'm going to review four sewing books that I've, have kind of helped me throughout my sewing progression. I thought I'd like to review them and show them to you. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I come on and talk about weekly tips, tricks and advice on how you can really grow and really smash it in this creative handmade world that we live in. So without further ado, here we go. So the first book I'm going to review, now I've had this book for like years. I've had it for, a, I've had it for quite some time and I still refer to it, I still look at it to kind of give me a little insight and it kind of brings me back to basics as to how to sew on a basic level and it also brings me back to my childhood as well because that's when I kind of started to realise that I had a creative passion inside of me. So this book, I don't think you can get this now. Um, yeah, it's it was literally done back in the 80s. So the book I'm going to review is called Sewing and Knitting. It's this book here. And it's from a company called the Osborne, yeah, the Osborne book or something like that. Osborne book of sewing and knitting okay now in this book it, it actually shows you how to knit and sew but obviously I took the sewing side of the book and what it does it literally it gives you a few projects to do so let's say if we're going to do a t-shirt so it literally guides you from the start so it will it will tell you to use a t-shirt that you've that you've already got and you trace around it and you use that as a template and it literally goes through step by step on how to create and to sew your t-shirt how to make your sleeves and how to do the measurements it's even got a, a section here how to lay out the patterns and everything else so you kind of get an idea of where to lay your patterns and yeah, I thought, I, I looked at it and I was just like, it's, it's so simple the way they've um, laid out the the way to make a t-shirt. And it also goes through, you can make trousers on here, like a pair of denim jeans. Yes, I know, the trousers are like proper baggy, man. Like, no one's really going to wear those now. But you get what I'm saying. And they've got here a gathered skirt. So yeah, gathered skirt and how to put the zip on, how to really, you know, how to do the whole the whole lot from start to finish. And it literally just goes through pictures. It's still something that's close to my heart, this book. Now, the next book I want to review is, um, it's called So Fab, okay? And this one was actually um, given to my daughter as a gift. I was going through her, uh, you know a plethora of books and I saw this book someone gave it to her and I was going through it and I was like oh these these projects are really cute and I love the illustrations in this book if you see here so we've got here like a scarf like a, a it's called a scrappy scarf and the way that they they detailed the designing and the and the and the way they've the way they put the actual book together, it's really nice and it just it just brings it to life, the illustrations. And again, they do the same sort of concept where you use a t-shirt and you trace over it. It goes through all the, the equipment pieces that you need to actually do a sewing project because it's for um, a younger, it's aimed at a younger market. So from the age of like, let's say seven up until about what? 16 17 you go from start to finish you follow the pattern you follow the the instructions and it shows you how to do little things what's this was like a pin cushion so it's got little cute little projects that you can make and yeah so you just follow the pattern you just follow the steps here and you make a little pin cushion so i i thought that was really sweet um this one's from leslie Ware. what i'll do is i'll leave a link below of all the books well apart from the first one um i'll leave a link below to these books that i'm reviewing but yeah i thought this was really cute so if you've got a younger um 
a younger child that is interested in sewing and trying to and taking an interest in sewing then consider getting something like this i mean it is basic it's it's cute and you can really kind of see whether they've got that that kind of creative flair um so it says here so fab sewing and style for fun for young fashionistas so it's definitely for the younger crowd so yeah get that one now the next one the next one i'm going to review is a book that i i purchased not too long ago just to kind of bring it back a bit my culture is i'm half Ghanaian, half jamaican now in the Ghanaian community we have so many seamstresses so many ladies that sew and men actually um and the way that we sew the way that seamstresses and tailors do the sewing we measure they take measurements so literally from your top half all the way to the bottom and they measure every section of how they're going to sew a dress so if you've got a design they'll measure each section in order to get the right fit for your dress now it's called freehand sewing and i've obviously i know how to sew from pattern but i also dabble in um freehand sewing i'm not as good um, i have to admit but I do like the way that you can freehand sew and literally just sew anything. So the book that I'm going to review that teaches you actually how to do freehand sewing is called Freehand Fashion and it's by a lady called Chanello Bally. Here it is. And that's Chanello, Chanello there. She's she's a re oh she's so lovely. I've seen her on the sewing bee she actually went on this competition that was in the uk and where they had where there were where they had loads of like sewing um people that that wanted to win a competition and they had to all create all these different things as a task and she did really well i think she came second i can't be too sure i think i think she came second if i'm if i'm wrong sorry chanello um but yeah but in terms of the freehand sewing she teaches you how to sew freehand from literally from the start so she um obviously she talks about herself here and then she goes into the essentials of what you need and then the technique which is obviously the main part so taking measurements so it's literally detailed the whole way from from how to from shoulder across to the back from shoulder to over bust to hips to elbow to back to everything and she teaches you how to sew and how to take all the measurements which is essentially the main thing on how to sew a dress or a top or whatever it is so she goes through that and so she teaches you how to make basic block bodice blocks and everything else and then she goes through and she literally draw, makes drawings here for you so you can see which measurement you take. So it kind of like you calculate the sections and then they all kind of join together. There's loads of YouTube videos online that teach you how to do freehand sewing. But obviously this is done in a book format so you can see. Um, but yeah, so she goes through all of that until you get a top or whatever. And then she does the same for a dress. She does the same for a skirt. And you learn the basic method on how to do a, bo a, a block, um, a bodice block on how to make a top or skirt or whatever, trousers or whatever. And yeah, so, you know, there's some few pictures here on what, uh, what other things that she's made. And I find this book quite technical, but in terms of um, getting to grips with measurements and to really sort of making your, your work look really accurate and professional, I would definitely say get something like this. Um, Chanello, she goes through everything step by step, like I said. And again, it says here, no pattern required. So yeah, if you really wanna home in and to really be professional clean and to get your measurements on point 
this is the book I would recommend yeah so that's that one and the last book is something that I have I've used and I've used it in a lot of the work that I've created um, it's called and I actually found this book on YouTube so I can't remember the girl that did the video but do you know what thank you so much it's called DIY Couture and it's from a girl called Rosie Martin this is the book here and as you can see I've I've already kind of put notes in here and of what type of styles I like and yeah I've gone through this book this book actually taught me how to line clothes it taught me how to line a jacket um, it taught me how to sort of make a simple skirt like a like a flared skirt a hooded top it's so cool and again you go through you t it teaches you how to trace um, a, um, a t-shirt or a pair of jeans or whatever to make that to use that as a template so the way this book is done it's is really it's really clever it's really clever so they they basically use a, a standard design and they give you loads of different variations of how you can make it so if it's like a pencil skirt they'll they'll show you all these different variations of how to make a pencil skirt with two pockets with one pocket with a high-waisted um, band and things like that so it's so clever on how this book is made and the good thing about this as well is that let's just say if you've had you've got um, a fashion label or you want to create a fashion label and you wanted to design a, a small collection let's say of about 10 items this book would allow you and would literally give you ideas on how to create your own collection so in terms of coming up with 10 pieces this book would literally give you the advantage and it will give you the ideas and it will give you the sort of or make you feel inspired that you can actually make a 10 piece collection for your own label so so yeah DIY Couture I, I, I love this book and yeah I, I really I, I it's kind of like my go-to um, inspired design that I want to make when I want to make a dress or something so yeah that's that's DIY Couture by Rosie Martin so yeah um so that's all the books I wanted to review today if you've liked this video please rate comment subscribe press that notification notification bell so that you'll get notified on my next videos thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video thanks guys bye